In this video, we will discuss and look at an example of how to create, edit, and use dynamic workflows. It often occurs that a ticket created to record a simple issue evolves to manage complex processes. For this, service providers use Vision's dynamic workflows. With dynamic workflows, you can create any number of tasks which may be assigned to multiple people or groups. Once a dynamic workflow is complete, it becomes available for revision and publishing as a static workflow for subsequent use in your organization. Let's take a look at an example of how we might use a dynamic workflow. A subscriber is called and says that their modem is no longer working. A tech is then dispatched to the location where they create a dynamic workflow directly in the trouble ticket as they troubleshoot the problem. Within the ticket window on the subscriber interface, you can create a dynamic workflow by clicking the Workflows icon. Now you have the option to start a previously created dynamic workflow or to start a new workflow by clicking the plus icon. Enter a name for this new workflow. You'll now see the workflow interface where you can add tasks, fields, and assign users. When finished with your new dynamic workflow, Click the checkmark icon in the upper left of the workflow interface to finalize. To start the workflow, click the checkmark above the interface. Your new dynamic workflow is now started and will now move through all processes and tasks. Dynamic workflows allow you to manage complex processes more easily and reliably. This ensures that your team can avoid or more easily solve issues as they arrive.